Hey friends, as always, it's Trailblazer here with some Battletech Tactics talk for you. Today I wanted to talk about flanking attacks and the ways that those are much easier to carry out against armored vehicles than they are against mechs, although against both vehicles and mechs it can be an extremely advantageous maneuver for you to use in combat. Now to start with, why do we want to carry out flanking maneuvers and flanking attacks in Battletech? These have been good types of attacks to use in lots of eras of military history for various reasons and in Battletech the reasons why they work are a little bit different from some of the reasons why they've historically been so effective. The first reason to do it in Battletech, the first reason to make a flank attack, is to avoid return fire from the target that you're attacking. If you can get into an arc where your target doesn't bring much of its own weapons to bear, then you can attack with relative impunity. And the second reason is to hit vulnerable locations on your target where you are more likely to pierce armor or cause a critical hit, or in the case of vehicles, importantly, to cause motive damage to the target. Now in any case, if you want to carry out a successful flank attack, you're going to have to carry out a flanking maneuver. That is, you're going to have to get out of your target's front arc and into a more advantageous arc to hit the target from. As you can see already from this diagram, that's going to be easier against armored vehicles than it is against battle mechs, because there's only one hex side on an armored vehicle that counts as pointing towards its front arc, whereas a battle mech has three hex sides that count as its front arc. So it's going to be a lot easier to move in a way that gets you out of the front arc of the vehicle. And the difference between mechs and vehicles is even more dramatic once we take a look at which arcs are the most advantageous ones to attack. So with an armored vehicle, if you look at what you're trying to do with a flank attack, you're trying to cause critical hits and primarily cause motive hits that will slow the vehicle down or eventually, hopefully, immobilize it. And motive hits are the most successful, the most likely to succeed, if you hit from the left or the right side. So as you can see, there are quite a few different, there's four different hex sides that you can send an attack through against an armored vehicle and have that extra good chance of causing a motive hit from the left or the right side. Against a mech, on the other hand, side hits aren't really that advantageous unless the mech has already taken some extra damage to one of its two sides. That definitely happens, but by far the most advantageous way to execute an attack against a mech is from the rear. Then you get to hit the weak rear armor and you know hopefully blow through that rear torso armor to start inflicting critical hits on the torso, which can be extremely devastating to a mech. So as a consequence of this, in ordinary situations where an opponent, if they're fielding a combined arms force that mixes mechs and armored vehicles, you want to try flanking the vehicles first because it's much easier to succeed at flanking the vehicles and you're more likely to be able to do some damage that will immobilize them. For example, as you can see in this image, if I want to get into the side arc of this Poe heavy tank with my Griffin, it's quite easy to do. I just need to move a few hexes away from kind of the main front of the vehicle if I'm this close to it and I'm in the side arc and I can start conducting a flank attack. You want to execute these maneuvers and these attacks as early as you can in a battle before your opponent gets their vehicles into a good firing position because if you can slow down or immobilize a vehicle before it gets into a good firing position then it's going to be much less useful to your opponent. Whereas your opponent is generally going to be trying to get their tanks into a position where it's kind of a fixed good firing position for them. And even if they get immobilized in that spot, they'll still be useful to the opponent as kind of sitting turrets. Now to cause motive hits to a vehicle, you want to do as many individual hits as you can. And that means something like an LBX autocannon or an SRM launcher are the ideal weapons. So perhaps the best kind of unit to use in executing a flank attack against vehicles is something like this cavalry helicopter, this cavalry VTOL, which brings a lot of SRMs to bear. It's extremely fast, so you can run this thing up and get it into the flank of your enemy's vehicles and hopefully immobilize them before the enemy has a chance to get those vehicles into a place where they could be a threat to you. 
If you want to use a mech for this sort of purpose, the best thing might be something like this snake, which isn't, in general, one of the best mechs in the game by any means, but for the purpose of getting into the flank of a vehicle and hitting it with its LB-10X and these Streak SRMs, the snake is extremely effective. Of course, there are plenty of other mechs that could be used for this purpose, something like an Enforcer, an Enfield, a Centurion, anything that's pretty mobile and carries an LB-10X. Or in the 3025 period, you could use a Javelin with its SRMs. Something like that would be an excellent, via or an excellent mech to use in flanking vehicles. Now, on the other hand, if you want to flank a mech, you have your work cut out for you. As you can see in this diagram, if I want to get my Sentinel into an advantageous position against this Crusader, I need to go all the way around to the back of that mech, which is a much more difficult thing to accomplish, especially early in the battle. So the moral of our story for today is, if you're facing a mixed force of mechs and tanks, you want to try to get into the flanks of the tanks early in the game, hit them on those side arcs, immobilize them, do that as early as you can in the game, and then later in the game, you can hopefully get into position to conduct rear attacks against the mechs, but there's no guarantee. So if you're facing a force with mixed mechs and tanks, focus on flanks at flank attacks against the tanks, and just, you know, you can focus your fire on the mechs, but ideally you want to immobilize the tanks as much as possible early in the game.